and then in trouble with the law. More than 200 players either arrested or formally cited by the police. Nearly 40% of those arrested charged with serious crimes, like assault and battery, domestic violence, burglary, cocaine possession, or DUI. I think as a general population, these are going to be stunning statistics to try to absorb, and policy changes will hopefully come about as a result. Another startling number in our investigation, we found only two schools in our sample that did any kind of regular criminal background checks on their recruits, Chris. I mean, let me say this, as a former college football player, I can't say this surprises me. It's been going on a long time here. So what does the NCAA do now to try to fix this problem, now that they're going to be alerted to this study? To their credit, uh, Mark Emmert, the new president of the NCAA, has already been alerted to this and has called it completely unacceptable. I would venture to guess there's going to be some changes coming very soon, whether they're by conference or legislated by the association. All right. CBS is Armin Kintay and Armin, thank you. And tonight on the CBS Evening News with Katie Couric, you can see more on Armin's investigation with Sports Illustrated, including just how deep schools dig into the backgrounds of their recruits and, of course, reaction from the president of the NCAA. Armin, once again, thank you. Coming up next, you're on